how you're reading, how you're reading a sentence, you need to read body language. That means in cluster. Cluster means a few actions. Verb proper aksi. Baru you boleh watch the rumusan. You cannot like, ah, Roy is sitting like that, ah, what she's doing? No. Nonsense. Now we see her. Then you see her again. And then you see her. And then you see her. Understand now? A few body languages put together will give a meaning. Feeling which you are going to make a wrong uh, deduction. Okay? Understand what the word cluster means. Second one, you must read it in context. You must read in context. What do you mean by reading context means? Like a word, like just say, <coughs> fried, F R I E D, uh, fried, boring. Uh, or in Malay, we call boring. Uh. So, boring, what's on your You go to Kadang Mama, you say, boring means what? Boring means boring. Uh. Okay? You see your friend going into your boss's office, uh, ba ba ba, not boring. Uh, same, perkataan sama, but maksud berbeza. It's the same word but gives a different meaning because you must read it in context. But the ketika itu situasi dia context. Okay. Number three, you must read it in congruent. Uh, I'll give you an example. What is congruent? Okay. Okay. So when, when I finish this. When I finish this, you'll understand all the three, okay? Now, these three rules are the most important rules if you want to read body language. Okay? Now, for example, if you don't read in context, okay, let's, let's, uh, i give you one good example of a body language. This body language. This is what we call arm crossing. Okay? In any body language books you read, also arm crossing is not a good body language. Okay, so going back to this correlation between physical and non-physical, which you ask, studies have shown the body, the physical body, will listen to the mind. That means what you are thinking, you are feeling, your body will show without you realizing it, and vice versa. What your body does can also control the mind. Okay? So this body language, when you use, it's not a good body language. Huh? It's called close gesture. Minda you tak But, like I said, you must always read it in context. If, like now the F1 company of the just now all of you were sitting like this. So it has got nothing to do that you want to listen to me. Memang okay. I give you another very, very, very good example. Very, very, very good example. In this classroom, though, uh, Mr. Santi, Mr. Sata, uh, the others, no lah, me yeah. So three of us have got a moustache, correct? One of the gestures of life, one of the is what we call Nosra. Nosra. Okay. Now let me tell you about this moustache, which you can also verify with these two gentlemen. <laughs> this moustache sometimes uh, on your unlucky day, <coughs> on the day you're so unlucky, one of the fellas, the naughty fella, will grow upwards and start touching your nose. Understand now? And if picture it, it touches your nose. So what guys will do is usually they will sweep the moustache down. They will do this lah. They want to sweep it down lah. Huh? So by idea, purun bawa lah. <laughs> but, that moustache is very naughty, jahat. Because it's so short, the flow of spring effect, toing, it can go up again. That particular day, huh, you're talking to Mr. Sata and he keeps saying that, okay, and you say, definitely lying. You are not reading in context. 
Do you understand? So, uh, why I always want to give this up front because I don't want you to make a mistake. Pace line. That's what we mean by pace line. When you do lie detector tests, have you seen a, how a lie detector test is done? A lie detector test measures your heart rate, your blood pressure, your palpitation. You know what palpitation? Okay. So they put a few uh, probes, uh, probes or transducers. Uh, some people use the word cancer, sensors and all. So the first question they will ask is something that you will not lie. Like, Mr. David, you work for Utah. He's not going to lie. Correct? He's not going to lie. So you get a certain reading. Correct or not? So, but, other, biasanya, that is his baseline. Normal, it's too Okay? So maybe, Mr. David, you work for Utah. Sudu, sudu, sudu. Of course, it's not going to lie. It's his name, huh? Or is where it's working. You drive, what kind of you drive, sir? Okay. You drive a kanchel, a white color kanchel. Yes. Tudu, tudu. Means what? He's normal, sir. He's normal. Memang, we are saying like that. Okay. On the night of the murder, you were at the crime site. <laughs> so you see, his baseline is. When it's normal, do 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 do. Bila dia kelentok, do do do. you understand or not? So lie detector test is also something that they must understand the baseline. They must understand the baseline. Okay. One of the things that you can catch people lying is the eyes, which I'll go through later. Eh? When we come to the eye part, do you understand context, guest, uh, and also the surrounding? Another very important thing is also where is it? Art, culture. Very important culture. So this is what I mean by congruent culture. Let me give you. Saya berikan satu contoh yang amat bagus. The first time I saw Bangladeshis in this country, I got a shock of my life. Guys and guys will be holding hands and walking. <laughs> Nothing up. You see them cycling, the fellow sitting at the bed will hug his friend like this. I can assure you something. Their relationship is nothing more than just friends. Nothing more than just friends. They are just normal friends. Because if you go to Bangladesh, I have not been to Bangladesh, but I've done some research. It is a common practice, people actually hold hands. They'll hold hands and climb the bus. Biasa. 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 <coughs> but just say lah, today lunch hour, Mr. Casey and Hazrat Pagan Tangan. Kata What will you say? Tak aku sangka, cuma dah jadi nangka. Because it is not our culture. Okay? It's not our culture. Hand language. Okay? When you guys uh, just say Saras, ask me something, I say Saras. Means what? Okay, la. don't worry, I'm getting that. Okay? Okay? But you go to one European country, you don't want to do this. Yes. You don't want to do this. Yeah, it's an obscene language. Understand? So it's a cultural thing. You understand culture now. I will give another very, very good example when it comes to handshaking later. Which many people have problems in Malaysia. In Malaysia. Hmm? So do you understand what is context, cluster, and congruent? Congruent means... Uh, uh, congruent in Malay. Uh, uh, Simbang. Uh, Simbang. Selaras. So you must see Selaras the culture here. Nanti dong. Nanti ya. Okay. So you must also take into consideration the person's upbringing, the person's baseline, and also the surroundings. The person's facial hair, for example. Huh? Yeah. Because remember the mustache one? Huh? It's, it's tickling his nose. Okay. So now. Once you are 
familiar with the rules of body language. Now, the first body language rule that I like people to go through is the body language of hands. Okay. But before I go to the body language of hands, before I go to the body language of hands, because some many of y'all were asking me about how to project a professional okay, personality towards your bigger bosses. The first thing, whether you like it or not, the first thing is dressing. Dressing. Your attire. And whenever I give talks to young graduates, and this is one thing I always say, dress for the person you want to be, not the person you are. Dress for the person you want to be, not the person you are. Mm -hmm. uh, I still remember I had a lecturer in uh, USA when I was studying, and his name was uh, Associate Professor Liang Lapsal. I still remember it. Very jovial guy. When he talked to you, all the time, he got his PhD from a university in, uh, in Sweden called Uppsala. <coughs> he was a geophysicist. A geophysicist. So, now, Dr. Leo always wears sandals for class. And my dean did like it. My dean doesn't like it. So, there was a small thing. So, one day I was having coffee with uh, Dr. Leo. And I was an undergraduate. And then he was This dean, huh? what's wrong with him? Huh? I think with my brains, not my shoes. <laughs> True. Of course, he's my lecturer at the time. Huh? I, I can't thank him. It's true. You don't think with your shoes, you think with your brains. But will you go for an interview wearing sandals? No. Why not? If that is sincerely your belief system, you should continue on. Not right. It's your belief one. Right. I have a few nephews in my house and they pull us out very terrified of me because I hammer them quite a bit. So one of the days, this fellow comes to my house <coughs> and then he was wearing a earring or whatever. Since when is someone wearing this one? Uh, don't wear. Is it this one? Yeah. Oh, school holidays. <laughs> oh, school holidays kids can wear. <laughs> Not school holidays cannot wear. That's wrong. Because your value must be everyday one. Kalau you agama, agama must be hari hari kan? Dari lahir sampai lima tiga. You tak boleh cakap from one year old to sampai lima puluh tahun saya buat kerja saya tak. Lima puluh satu saya bertawai. Mana boleh? Because your value means value. Lah. You cannot say I'll be a good husband from 9 to 5 in the evening. After 5, I'll be a hantu. Cannot. Huh? So it must be consistent. Huh? consistent. So getting back, the way you dress makes a very big impact. For gentlemen in the corporate arena, okay, the best, what is the best color shirt to wear? White. Yeah, like specifically? White. 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 White is the best shirt color to wear. All the top, what you should do, you should take a drive down to Jalan Raja Chulan or Sutta Ismail. Okay? 12 o'clock. Park your car and look at all the top bosses. You don't see all the young fellas all young chikus all You know? The young fellas will always walk by car. I mean, you can see your students work. <laughs> What's the problem, man? What's the problem? <laughs>
they do not allow their staff to wear brown. Brown is earth color, weakness. Okay. The gray is steel, tough. So they encourage their staff to wear white, light gray, light blue. Then the suits are all standard colors, very dark. Yes. No fancy stuff. Absolutely. And that is the image that exists all IBM staff project. Correct. She is very right. She knows what she's talking about. You see now, in the corporate arena, the one of the I wouldn't say it's the first because nobody has done the research. But one of the first companies that actually talked about uh, grooming is IBM. IBM, the fellow who put up IBM was this guy by the name of Thomas Watson. Thomas Watson, and in one of his speeches, in one of his speeches, he said, "I want to create a breed." of executives okay, who will be an example to the world. So you're absolutely right. In fact, everything in IBM is something got to do with blue. The moment you become a manager at IBM, you go for a training program and that's called basic blue. Yeah, it's basic blue. Okay? Then they have what's called a true blue. Okay? And the key word, Thomas Watson, you can ask any IBMer. Every IBMer, their beliefs, their value, one of the greatest value is think. IBM and the word think. That's why the laptop is called what? Think that thing. Absolutely. Think. So yes. So why why is the best? Huh? Huh? Why is the best? Now let's go one step deeper about ties. What color ties you? What what shirt color does your president wear? You don't see it. Where does it sit? Here? Here, here. Here. So those are all not seated. Sorry? Yes, we were coming down, he was standing out there because no, the council meeting is there to be seated. What color shirt does he wear? White. 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 What color tie does he wear? Dark. Dark colors. Very dark. Blue. Very dark colors. Ask Rennie. Rennie. Ask Rennie. Black. He wears black. He wears a black tie. Surprising. Oh, with the stripes. stripes. Okay. Studies have shown, which I'll also be proving to you in a while's time, generally, people in copper will wear three color ties. <coughs> I've only got three color ties. I've got many ties, but they're only three colors. So people ask me, Tiga saja ada ga? Bila hari jadi, saya beli. Jangan lah, hantam saya ni macam. Tapi kalau mau bagi, tak apa. Kecil, tak apa, tak apa, niru saya tak ada ga? Okay? Red, blue, or gold. Gold as in this. Not yellow, this is yellow. Gold means like this color. Okay, similar to this color. Why? Why? Red is a color that shows dominance. Power, exactly. That is why you see when the world leaders come from the summit, you see they always wear. Not by coincidence, it's red. In fact, this red is not a good red, so it's more maroon. I have a nice red color tie, but I just uh, wore it the other day. <coughs> and the other one doesn't look good already. Eh? <laughs> the other one doesn't look good. So I have no choice but to wear this. But a red tie is the best. <coughs> 